Hello everyone. Welcome to SSA Insight. Today I am going to share my document verification experience of SSA CGL 2018 in Eastern Region, Kolkata. Finally, the most awaited SSA CGL DV has been started. So my document verification was scheduled on 29th January 2021 in Nizam Palace. Uh, my shift was uh, fourth batch uh, from 3.30 p.m. So it started quite late at around uh, 4 p.m. and it ended up at 6. At first they distributed among us a declaration form which contains our name, roll number, signature and date and the declaration was that I have not been debarred from any uh, SSC, UPSC exam, any governmental exam. After that, they started to call uh, the candidates one by one and uh, let us stand in a queue according to our names, which was scheduled uh, in the uh, DV schedule, uh, which was uh, in the notice of, the, of their website. After that, one by one was called uh, at the entrance and uh, we are checked our body temperature and then we have to put our signature with date in a uh, photo bearing attendance sheet uh, which was at the entrance. After that, at a counter, we have to submit our call letter and uh, our, we have to put our uh, left thumb impression. After that, Beside that counter, um, we again have to put our left thumb impression and uh, uh, the official asked me my name and date of birth and asked whether my option form uh, was filled or not. So I told that my option form uh, was already filled and then uh, he told me to um, stand in a queue uh, inside their office. After standing in that queue, the candidates are uh, were called inside a room where the document verification was held by the officials. So, after entering that room, uh, I have to uh, sign again with date uh, in a photo bearing attendance sheet. And there, my call letter, uh, I have to submit my call letter. Uh, at the previous counter, uh, the call letter al already has been returned to me. There were eight officials inside that room and at a time, eight candidates document verifications were going on. So at the time of document verification, first I have to submit the option form and the declaration form which was given at the entrance. Then the official asked me to represent my original documents. And the original documents were 10th passing certificate, graduation certificate and graduation mark sheet, mark sheets of three individual years in graduation and then your uh, highest qualification certificate. So total five, uh, no total six original documents are required, uh, three mark sheets of graduation graduation passing certificate, 10th passing certificate and your highest qualification certificate. And uh, with these, uh, each of its uh, self-attested photocopy are required. The date in your self-attested photocopy should be, the, uh, should be your DV date. And uh, no recent passport size photo is required, no photo is required. But uh, it is uh, fine to carry, but uh, no photo is required. Now the document verifier uh, will fill an application form just like we fill uh, at the time of application. He will put your data, your all data, uh, your father's name, mother's name, your name, your uh, board, your university, your score, uh, your uh, marks in graduation, everything uh, just like we fill in our application form. Uh, after filling everything, at the last, the option form uh, will appear and then uh, he will ask you to dictate your uh, post preferences one by one and he will uh, fill it on that application form. You need to be very careful at this time because they will not further check 
your application your option form with their uh, inputs uh, so it's totally up to you whatever you will uh, dictate uh, they will uh, give their input they will not further check your option form with their inputs so it's totally up to you after that they will take your uh, picture just like uh, in online exams and uh, they will print the whole application form of uh, four pages i remember uh, the application form was of four pages there you have to sign uh, twice and uh, put your name in block letter and um, the, your dv date and in the option form if you left the any block unfilled then there you have to cross that blocks and uh, in that option option form you have to write your phone number also that's all your dv uh, is completed then uh, um, the official asked me to stand outside the room and after nearly one hour my they returned my submitted call letter and uh, uh, above that call letter it was written uh, verified with date so that is the whole process of document verification there is nothing to worry about if you have no anomaly in your any of your certificates then everything will be fine there is nothing any complex nothing complicated so that's all thank you